Damn. Welcome to the draft brewery, Dr. Chris Baker DC here. Second draft. Um clearly Liliana pick here. Liliana's not in the pack. I'm taking Essence open to wonder, Essence Scatter, so I'm probably passing some good blue. So I'm just better playing sure each opponent is on life game life. Zombie deck, but that's a lily. Makes zombies, returns creature cards from graveyard to the battlefield. Conqueror destroys all non zombies. Alright, so I really want to play black if possible. This green red card's good. Ex oh, I like Impulsatory Rest. I think that's kind of, <gasps> kind of the easy pick in black white zombies would be the best place for us to be afterwards. The cycling black card is actually playable and on color as well and actually I found having threats and cyclers is pretty good so I think I'll just stay on color with this guy not really passing too much good black either way too so that's good um, no yeah I mean pack is awful Jesus. River Serpent. We did pass good blue to the left. Wonder and Death is playable. Probably just going to take that. I like the Sandworm. It's a good thing to actually. I love that cycle and then zombify it. Um, it's probably enough better than Wonder and Death that we should take it. Since we can get back things anyway. Watcher Dog is just not that great. He's kind of hard to attack with. Um, alright. Let's take this guy. Yeah, creatures with cycling are also a little bit better with Leon, I guess. Ooh, green cartouche and final reward. Ooh, and two other good green cards. That's pretty crazy, actually. Um, it's actually a tough pick. Green cartouche doesn't do that much by itself. But it's so much cheaper and it works with the trials. But I think we have enough incentive to cut black with a really good black pack too. So let's take this final reward. I think that's a tough pick though. Alright, white, blue. So looks like our junk colors are being taken. So not really a fan of any of these cards except Essence Scatter and Fan Bearer. So two three for two is totally fine. Um, and black white does lend us to having some zombie synergies potentially, and the tapper. I think the tapper is probably just the best card. Who cares about the wandering death and the essence scatter? Alright, blue, no, blue cartouche, oh, another pass, wisdom and white, it's better than the cheetah, the, and the wrappings, I believe, I don't care about the red cards, um, again, not really seeing much good green, Probably not going to be green, but could be black, white. I guess this two drops not the most unplayable thing ever, but these white things, at least this makes a zombie on the back. This is not a good card, though. Ugh. Not really sure what to take. They all seem just kind of bad. I'll take this guy. He can at least attack through some things. Jeez. How is Lay Claim and Open and Wonder still in this pack? Both these cards are just absurd. What? Oh my god.
looking in the wonder. I hate that card. I always lose to it. Just get the clay clam. I don't know. Open the wonder wheels. Essence kind of wheels. How? Can it just black the blue? This 5-5 five five is solid. Got plenty of fives, right? I'm not playing scatter, but it's the best card. I like two drops fine, but I might be playing blue, and I think this card is like totally fine compared to that. Ugh. Jeez, I guess blue just is. The underdrafted color River Serpent over Flood Seeker for sure with Liliana. Uh, the Embalm guy, yeah, making a zombie is probably better than that card. How? How is this a thing? Okay, blue is just so open. Jeez. Yeah, that one pack was a bit of a dud. But at least the sandworm cycles and I guess we did open good cards in blue, but nobody took them. So many dispossessed, just so many floating around. Here it's quite obviously Grave Digger over Essence Scatter. Pretty sick one to keep reanimating and rebuying our creatures. A Blinding Mummy is okay, but we're kind of like a defensive deck, I believe. Uh, we could we could splash these white cards potentially too, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's this over the scatter. Looking for I just don't like how scatter doesn't deal with things like open and wonder or whatever. Approach the second sun and harsh mentor. Hmm, and every cartouche in the book, and other playables. Approach the Second Sun could be a sweet one to splash. Gain seven life. Don't really want any of these cartouches. Do you like Naga Oracle and Soul Stinger? Yeah, I think I want creatures with abilities and defensiveness. So I think Oracle is actually a little bit better than Soul Stinger. So it puts things in the bin. Ooh. Cycle or discard a card. And gain two, drain two. Uh, the six, seven hex proof is a real freaking nuisance. Vitalist is great. Yeah, so all these good cards are finally coming around. Hmm. Ways to win the game is kind of what I need to be thinking about. This can. The cyclers we're dealing with. Two, three, three right now. I think we take it and potentially get more cyclers. Getting that approach to the second sun back would be nice. Uh, 
plus 4, 2 is a solid card, I think. Well, with the rest of our cycling theme potentially. Um, Green of the Pantheon. Could be good if we're trying to really splash these things. Now we've got a couple white cards that we're trying to splash. Don't really love that guy. Love this guy. I think Soul Stinger is quite good, but I don't love a four. For the Pantheon, it's just bad though if I don't end up splashing, which I probably won't. I think I just take this Soul Stinger. Then I guess we can Cataracts. Indestructible. Once we got five mana, it taps for any color, but before that it does nothing. But once I hit five, I can just double green, double black. Yeah, could be good. Bad cycling card. They will land if we don't splash. A bat, two and flyer, an aggressive shell I like. I'm just going to take this land in case we end up splashing. This 6 5 is, helps with our splash potential, but it is a splash. Mm. Could be playable. Wins is okay. I think it's. Better than Mummy and Forsake, yeah. Hmm, ooh, Trial of Knowledge. That is a real card to see this late. None of the blue or black cartouches are quite strong in our deck, though. Ooh, third Scatter. I think Scatter's better than Crab. Eh, depends. Like, all the Embalm guys are pretty annoying. When you have Scatter, I still... I'd run 3 Scatter. I think Scatter is just going to be bad against some decks. And so is Crab. I think I get similar Crab-like things. Ooh, approach the second Sun Wield. I think we have to take it. And I don't like the cartouche in our deck at all. Unburden is a fine card, but like this is like an actual way to win. Can't believe I wield that. Ah, uh, cycle a card, I guess is better. Stinging shot. Doesn't look like we're gonna be playing green, I guess. They're both cycle two anyway, so. Right here, the Painted Bluff is actually playable. And we wield this 2 2 flyer thing. Oh, this card is playable too because it makes our second sun drop, draw a 5 card through, but. Ooh, this could be playable as a cycler as well. Alright. Cyclers. Six cyclers, one cycling matters card, two cycling matters cards, three cycling matters cards. Don't care about that guy. Ooh, Angler Drake. Better than Green Cartouche. Angler Drake's a sick one to be getting back with Liliana. I think that's quite an easy pick. Maybe the Baleful Guy wheels, but other than that, we've got. A 2 1 for 2, that's probably the only relevant things that will wheel. Okay. Electrify Final Reward. Now again, Final Reward is just an easy pick. Deal with those gods and whatnot. 
I want to be a control deck, really. I don't know if we really can play this Greater Sandworm ever, but we don't need to play it, I guess, if we're totally honest. Black Zombie. Black Zombie Worm. Yeah. With these two lands. I guess one Evolving Wilds would be real nice. Ooh, this Indestructible thing is sick. Yeah, don't give a crap about any other card. This is double white, but like, again, another kind of great win con. We're playing blue bag. This bad one drop is not what I'm looking for. This card is real. Open and wonder. Come on. I don't really want a second painted bluff. Cartouche is bad. Ugh, I, don't, I just can't beat Open and Wonder. That's why I hate. Ooh, Dune Beetle. Dune Beetle could be, but see, I feel like it's sideboard against the aggro deck. Scribe. play a lot of these cards. Cycling crap. I don't think we need one for this is scatter. I don't know. Oh god. A bear the hunters. I don't have any guys to get back. Non legendary non land card, discard it. Again, bad against Involve. Passing a million green cartouches. Splashing white. Maybe flyer could be fine. I think I want a two drop and a two drop play like this could be good. I have nothing to put this cartouche on. Alright, I think it's the honor. It's better than drawing two cards. I don't really think this deck needs to draw cards in it. In fact, I've flooded out enough. And this format, you just cycle all your whole deck and you have no threats. And this is good with the zombify effects. Um, I don't really care about any of these cards. Again, it's draft league, although I would hate an embalmed creature most likely. Um, I don't care about that. Target player, you can target yourself. You can splash these guys. Do flyers like really matter in a grindy dirtle mirror? Cycle them, I guess. Ooh, jeez. Getting two cyclers back. that better than Essence Scatter number five? Oh, fan bear. Yeah, I don't want two fan bears. They're two mana intensive. Scatter number five. Yeah, I think I like one of this card. Creature in the battle of the opponent control card loses a life and gain a life. So if they have a lot of creatures or a lot of tokens, and Sort of helpful. Yeah, I guess if they're a nest deck, I'll side that in. I think Warpings is actually, or Wrappings is better than Floodwaters. Deals with the threat. A big flyer. And this card cycles. We could play, yeah, I think this Faith card could be good because we have a lot of things that cycle and a lot of things. Whatever. Jeez. Vitalist is still in the back. I 
this most dumbagger deck. How? How are all my cards moving? What's this thing? Alright, this is a weird ass deck. So I don't win the game. Let's say you have like five cards left in library. It just goes to be the last card and on the last turn of the game. You just cast it. Oh, the mill five card would have been good. Ah, shoot. Mill f ah. That's bad thinking on my part. Because I could mill five for me and that would be actually Let's think we just colors. Blue black minus five. Yeah, we have like enough playable to just play blue black as well. Hate this card. We do want that. Two drop. These are all two drops. I don't know if four is necessary though. Drop creatures. All those cycling guys are decent. So we have this. So those are for sure. This is for sure. That's for sure. It's Ten. We're playing one. Yeah, we only can have two more cards. Yeah, looks like we're not even gonna do this bad splash. Devoted. I think it's bad. It's only three cuts. Well, this Lay Bear the Heart is kind of awkward with all these Essence Scatters. Essence Scatters, not... I don't think it's the best card either. Alright, there's certain cards that we have to play though. Cyclers do get better with this guy. Creature cyclers are quite good. Definitely playing that. It's just all these cards. Twenty six. We got eight showing here. So eight means we gotta have five and five and three cuts. 
Um, I like how Rappings deals with something if you deal with activated abilities. Uh, how this deals with non creatures. This deals with creatures once they've hit play. This deals with any permanent once it's hit play. So I can try and want these. And paying six mana to bounce two is probably not what this deck is about. Normal flying is fine. Probably don't need four essence scatter. Don't need essence scatter. Plenty of shit going on in the early game. Don't need the wrappings. Plenty of things to cycle. We don't really want that. Now this other wrappings. Is it better than scribe? Spells we have from three, four, and five. Six. Oh, I like being. <laughs> I like that combo already. Yeah, I can't cast it this turn. I like how this just deals with all the bombs. Most of the bombs, I guess. Kind of sucks if we don't scatter, then we play this though, then they land another thing and it could be annoying. Yeah, I don't think that is it. Cartouche does draw a card. We could always play 16 land as well. Sort of mana intensive deck, and we don't need to cycle up like these guys as much in the early game. I'm definitely, like that's that's just like a guaranteed two drop, but I'm maybe zombifying and never casting. Is that even worth it? It is. It's kind of like a wincon. You could put that on it. That curse is bad in our deck, though. One is fine. Wrappings. Wrappings might be better than Scatter. It's cost more, but it just kind of deals with anything, and we don't have to have scattered it for it to deal. It's just two Scatter. Maybe it's not the Slay Bear. Slay Bear on turn two. Uh, it's the old Legendaries. Hmm. Probably bad. Uh, four, five, sixteen, sixteen, five, six, 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 six,
If I go real slow, I can go here, but I think I accidentally joined the league. That's only one game. And if it's only one game, I think I'll be fine. Whatever. Let's try this. <laughs> 